Hello everyone and welcome to Science Appliance, where we apply the science. I am not science today, but instead, I am a robot that he created called Lemon Bot. Yes, science loves lemons if you can't tell. Today I am going to be talking about a theory on Five Nights at Freddy's, which contains various spoilers from the fourth closet. So beware of spoilers in this video. Science has partaken in many streams of Warlord Suspect, and some on his second channel called Fred Bear and Friends. And on those streams they have talked about the gravestone ending in particular. It seems like such an impossible detail in the franchise to solve, but now, with most pages of the soon-to-come book spoiled on the internet, we can now have a good understanding of this key issue in the latest installment. If you aren't up to date with the sixth game, which has been out for about six months now, then after getting the lore ending, you are greeted with this screen. It is just a picture on the screen saying, the end, with birds chirping in the background. There are six different gravestones, two with hard-to-see names, and two with names we have seen before. Fritz and Jeremy. Some gravestones are very difficult to solve, like for example, the one in the back, which many, including myself, believe to be Charlie from the books, or the puppet in the games. And then there are ones which we are unable to solve unless we get the name to pop up somewhere else, like Gabriel, who could trigger a religious aspect, but I highly doubt it. However, I want to turn to Fritz. We have all heard of Fritz Smith, the night guard from the last night of FNAF2, but I don't think it is his grave. I think that Michael just used the name Fritz to hide himself from the owners of the company, so they don't know it's another Afton. So, who is Fritz? Well, in the fourth closet, there is actually a boy called Fritz, and he wears none other than a striped shirt. No more specifics. Just a shirt with stripes on it. Sure, this could mean that it could be any child with stripes on his shirt, right? But I deeply believe that this is Crying Child from the FNAF4 minigame. I always found it weird how the design for Crying Child is a lot different to those of the other children. The eyes are different, the dialogue is different, but most importantly, the shirt is different. Everyone else is wearing a blank shirt or just a shirt with a picture on it, and Crying Child is the only one with this striped shirt. This goes across the entirety of every minigame, and to me, says that Crying Child has to be Fritz. So, what about the others? Well, Susie is another easy one. Fruity Maze minigame girl must be Susie as the book describes her with blonde locks of hair that bob along, which they actually do in the minigame, and how her dog died in the book. Fritz is Cece and Susie is Fruity May's girl. There's only one more for now that I can predict out of the six, and that is the gravestone at the back. Notice how it is separate from the others. To me. That means that the five in the foreground are related in some way, and the one at the back is different. Meaning, if my theory is correct, the person buried under the grave in the back is not a missing child whilst the people in the foreground are. And I predict the grave at the back to say, Charlotte Emily, or also known as Charlie. But, forget Charlie. What about Susie? Okay, I know that was a great entrance. But thank you Lemonbot for taking over this video. And we're going to continue with this theory in the next episode because I'm bored of writing this episode. And you can probably tell I was bored because I got a robot to tell them. <laughs>